Well, hello folks. We're here again finishing up this motor mount assembly. As you can see, we've finally cut the two pieces in half and married them together. They probably make a lot more sense now to you than they did before, all being in one piece, but it made it a lot easier to drill uh, the holes and make the cuts we needed. Uh, these adjusters here, as you can see, we demonstrated earlier, will uh, adjust this piece in and out and we have uh, quarter inch increments. Can you see that? We have quarter inch lines scribed on there so you can tell how far this piece is moving in and out and keep both sides aligned properly. Uh, we've also installed our U-bolts that will go around the cross member of the bicycle to hold this on which they'll sit kind of at an angle like this. Uh, we may have to make more modifications to the aluminum here to provide the room that we need, but this will allow us, now this is just a mock-up that we have in here, uh, so we got our holes right, and our, uh, as you can see, this is only part of a motor. We're going to put the whole motor in there, and uh, everything bolts in. You see it slides through the cut. And so it holds it inside as well as it's got four bolts threaded into it. And this is the nuts. Get up under the light here and it may be better. These nuts are safety nuts that are bound to these bolts, which are the adjuster bolts, and allows this shelf here to move in and out and align our motor uh, with whatever chain sprockets we're going to put them on. And uh, this way we've got oh, an inch in either direction to adjust the thing to get what we want out of it instead of having to rebuild another unit each time we figure out it wasn't quite as far as we wanted it. <laughs> so this is where we've gotten with all the hours of investment that uh, we spent in these last few months. And it's taken a while to get it all figured out. but. Uh, this is all pretty much repurposed materials except for one stock piece of aluminum we needed in this size, which was fairly uh, inexpensive. And uh, so next we're going to put it on the bike, put the good motor in it, get it wired up, and see if we can't get to rocking and rolling. Thanks for looking in on us again. Bye.